second step is a social skills program designed to develop social and emotional awareness in children. This evidence-based program has been proven to help prevent youth violence and is available for preschool, kindergarten to grade 5, and grades 6 to 8. Here's a look at how Fallingdale Junior Public School in Brampton is using Second Step to help their students. I'm the early childhood educator in the classroom, so I work in the full day kindergarten classroom along with a teacher. I work with students who really need sort of the one-to-one -one experience. Um, they're a little bit more challenged with the day-to-day -day routines and expectations as far as behavior and social skills. Since the beginning of the year, I've taken on the role to do the Second Step program with the children. It's a great program to introduce the children um, in gaining social and emotional skills that they need um, for problem solving, also learning how to interact and deal with one another, solving their own problems. So when they started learning about feelings, they were able to identify okay, this is how I'm feeling. They were able to identify why. And then we expanded and said, let's write in our journals. When do you feel happy? What makes you happy or what makes you sad? Then we turned those journal entries into a book. And now we have a feelings book. But then we talk about why, why you might be feeling that way. And that, that also puts them in touch with the fact that, you know what? Yes, I have these feelings, and yes, you know what, I've done something that's inappropriate, but I really am okay. Mm -hmm. And most of all, I have a way that I can change. We even had some parents that approached us and said that the children are bringing those lessons into their home, even passing on those skills to their siblings. Mm -hmm. For example, there was a girl in my classroom whose older sister was getting very frustrated in the car as they were driving somewhere. It was a long trip. And then the little kindergarten girl said to her, it's okay, calm down, put your hand on your tummy, take a deep breath, count to three, and calm down. And the parent actually approached us and let us know how the, their child approached that situation and helped the sister. And it was surprising the number of students who would come back, even from high school and college, come back and say, oh, I remember you're the feelings lady. <laughs> and you know what? What you taught me, I was able to take even into college. I was able to express myself. I could understand people better. I knew what a certain look meant. I knew what certain body language meant. When I listened to people, I understood what the voice really meant. I think for me, one shocking moment was one time we were outside and there was a problem between two children who were close to me. And I was hearing the problem, but I wanted to see how they would solve it. And then I heard, I don't like when you do this to me. That makes me sad, or whatever emotion they identified. And then the other child said, I'm sorry for whatever I did. And then the child, the child who was hurt or upset said, I accept your apology, but please don't let it happen again. And I turned around and I said, wow, just the conversation between them two. I was really t taken back like, wow, they're actually using this, they're actually identifying their emotions and talking to each other politely and with respect and solving the problem in a smooth and positive manner. I really hope that um, schools are urged to continue following programs like this to give students the confidence in the language and, and um, the knowledge that they need to go forward to become teenagers and adolescents and adults. We certainly need that because even as an adult, I've seen many adults who really could have benefited greatly from having these kinds of sessions. 